Okay, so have you ever wondered who will win in a battle? Classic Doctor Strange versus Unkindness Raven? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys who exactly is going to win this battle. Let's get into it. And before we get into all of that, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button, hit that bell, because if you don't, I will hate you. You don't want that, do you? No, I'm joking. Stephen Vincent Strange, aka Doctor Strange, aka Stephen Strange, is the source of supreme of the Earth dimension. Once a materialistic and greedy neurosurgeon, Strange's medical career was left in pieces after a debilitating car accident which severely damaged the nerves of his hands and made him unable to ever conduct an operation again. Consumed by his own pride and self-pity, he started conducting several medical procedures on himself, many of which highly experimental. In a desperate attempt to return to his former glory, which all gave off no significant results and ultimately exhausted all of Strange's fortune. Over the course of a few months, reducing him to nothing but a random person roaming around New York streets. Eventually, Strange took notice of the stories about a mystical monk, going by the title of the Ancient One, which was rumored to possess magical powers capable of healing any disease. Being desperate enough to try anything in order to heal his hands, he traveled to Tibet and met up with the Ancient One in a palace sitting upon isolated icy mountains and although filled with skepticism at first, Strange's introduction to the world that the supernatural humbled his personality and eventually sparked him into becoming a disciple of the Ancient One, ultimately resulting in him taking up the mantle of Sorcerer Supreme held by his master and becoming Earth's primary defender against the supernatural forces which roam beyond normal reality. Okay, so that was classic Doctor Strange's origins, now let's talk about his powers and feats. Well, he has magnificent control over the mystical arts, essentially meaning that he can create anything and summon anything that he wants whenever he wants, use mystical energies to create shields, melee weapons, whatever the case may be. He also has time manipulation, dimension hopping, immortality, wind control, reality warping, matter manipulation, size manipulation, fire manipulation, transmutation, water manipulation, sound manipulation, a master telepathy, telekinesis, astral projection, and so much more. He also has mystical artifacts like the Eye of Agamotto and the Cloak of Levitation. Alright, now let's talk about the feats. Well, Doctor Strange has been able to consistently beat powerful mystical beings like Dormammu, who is a Skyfather level being, has the ability to summon mystical weapons and entities that he can use, like the Crimson Bands of Satarak, and even Chaos and Order, which is a being that is far more powerful than beings like Galactus. Put the fear of God in Galactus, can telepathically be Umar, who is Dormammu's sister, able to tap into the life force and wielded, and he has ridiculous regeneration, to the point where he can bring his soul and his physical form back, while also having the ability to resurrect others. So classic Dr. Doctor Strange is easily universal, most likely multi-universal at its peak, if not slightly above that. But what about Unkindness Raven? Well, I already have a video explaining Raven's backstory, so you can go watch that video. It's my Ravens vs. Adam Eve video, so you can go check that out. Raven and her teammates were battling the Four Horsemen of Apocalypse. While in battle, Raven uses her magical abilities to absorb the Four Horsemen and take them out of the host bodies. When doing so, she tried to control them, but they were far too strong for a tired Raven. Raven then would convince Billy Batson aka Shazam to seal her within the rock of eternity but that went completely south okay so that was unkindness Raven's origins now let's talk about her powers and feats well this is Raven we're talking about here so she's already extremely powerful so I'm gonna just name you a few of baseline Raven powers well Raven has absorption accelerated healing agility astral projection awakened power banished souls soul self cryokinesis, danger sense, dark force manipulation, dimensional awareness, dimensional travel, durability, emotional power up, empathy, energy constructs, energy manipulation, fire control, fire resistance, flight, force fields, and plenty, and I mean plenty more. And now since she absorbed the four horsemen of Apocalypse, she is now extremely more stronger than she naturally was. And what is even worse, she's not even in control of herself at this moment. The four horsemen have taken over Raven's body. Okay, so now let's talk about the feats. While Raven is in her unkindness form, she let her minions, yes I said minions, like the seven deadly sins and the lords of chaos to destroy the cosmo. Well, it seems like we're off to a great start. She is able to absolutely beat Superman Prime one million, defeat hell itself, breaks into the speed force, defeats the pantheon of skylands, defeats new genesis, shit she is for real destroying the multiverse with ease. Okay so who do I think wins? Well this is quite obvious but I should not have put classic Doctor Strange versus unkindness Raven because she is absolutely stumping here. A baseline Raven can already be considered multiversal in terms. This version of Raven has the capability of easily destroying the multiverse. 
to hell with white raven this one right here is the most powerful iteration of raven that i have ever stumbled upon and if dr strange wanted to play the oh i can't die thing raven should be able to trap his soul in a bubble where he can never get out of no matter how many spells he uses well if he can even use them in the first place since he should be able to absorb any magical and mystical energies that he uses for his spells so yeah unkindness raven wins but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below please like and subscribe hit that bell and i'm out peace